Welcome in. Hey, welcome in to Cook Lattice Martial Arts. What's going on everyone? Master Mystical Clan is here. Today we're gonna to be working on our 10 station MMA power conditioning workout. Let's get started. Our first exercise today is two pound shadow boxing. I want for us to really be focused on our footwork and our techniques from our prior month. So while you're practicing this, making sure that you're bringing your hands back to your face, working everything that would look perfect if you were sparring. A lot of times when we're drilling everything else, we start to lose our technique, we start to lose our accuracy, but with this, we get to really focus on just the techniques by itself, all right? Watch her a little bit, check out the footwork, watch how she's always keeping her weight on the balls of her feet, not letting her heels drag. While we're doing these exercises, I want you guys to do at least a minute in each station. For my classes, I have us do anywhere from two to three minutes per station with about a 30 second rest, all right? Once we're done with that, let's move on to the next one. All right, this one's gonna be all for the core. We're gonna do an ab wheel. I like to do about 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off, really making sure that we're squeezing the glutes, keeping a good base the whole time. Making sure that our back isn't arching when we go back down. We wanna keep everything tight, like there's a strong column of support as we're training through this. If we have a hard time with this, we can work on our planks. Michael, why don't you show that for me? I got this. Thank you. See how as she's practicing this, she's not ar arching her back. She's keeping all of this strong the entire time. As you practice this and become a little bit more advanced, you can start to bring your elbows closer to your eyes and have a farther angle of support here as you're practicing this, okay? Just make sure that as you train, you're always keeping your glutes tight and not allowing any curvature of the spine, all right? Once you're done with that, let's move on to the next one, some jump rope. This one's one of my favorite. I like for us to work this for 15 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Now the difference with this is our 15 seconds off is gonna look like this. We're not gonna be just stopping and catching our breath. This is our off, right? Our on looks like this, high knees. Good, keep that intensity. Find the breath, thinking in through the nose, out through the mouth. Let me see about five more seconds. Well, keep it going, intensity, good. And then slow it back down. Nice, find your rhythm with it. Pay attention to the fact that when he's doing this, he's not jumping off both feet at the same time. He's keeping a good boxer's rhythm with this. Let me see 15 more seconds to show him what's got. Try to keep up with him, focusing on your breath. Let's see what we got, Will. 10 more seconds. You're doing good, man. Nice. And break. Good work. Let's move on to the next one. All right, Philip, show us some shadow boxing. We're gonna be working a little bit more of a bladed stance for this, all right? The past couple of months, we've been thinking more of our boxing style footwork and good technique with our hands. But now I want for us to think more karate and taekwondo style. Still staying light on the feet, but working our angles more. See how the stance is a little bit wider. He's able to throw more power kicks, more kicks to the head. Let me see some of those tornado kicks, flashier kicks. Good, flowing through it, nice. Always bringing your hands back to your face. Good. If you start getting really exhausted at this point, find your rhythm with it. You don't have to throw power the entire time. You can find some light footwork as you're practicing this. Let me see about 10 more seconds, Philip. Nice. Keep it going, focusing on your breath. Bring it to really work your technique and explosive energy. All right, awesome. Let's move to the next one. All right, this one is going to be all about our teeps and roundhouse kicks. Now you can see as she's practicing this, she's keeping a good amount of distance the entire time. If you guys don't have a weight master with this, or you're not able to practice on this same type of equipment here, you can just do this in the air with the same type of shadow box. The whole goal with this one though, is to make sure that you can drive the person back and then work the roundhouse kick on the angle. Let me see a couple more. I'm good, Amy. Nice. Good, now start working the angles a little bit. Instead of seeing right in front, yeah, good. Let that person fall into your rattles kick as you're practicing this. Awesome. All right, let's go to the next one. Good work, Amy. Now, this one's one of my favorites, too. This one, we get to just burn out. This one's for the shoulders, okay? A lot of times when you guys are sparring and training, your shoulders is going to be the first thing to burn out. I don't know if you guys have experienced this before, but when you can't train and your shoulders are burnt out, you're not going to be able to defend yourself anymore. So while we're practicing this, we're drilling our hands coming back to our face every time, making sure we're not just an arm puncher. We're turning our hips 
every single time that we throw something. Turning on the ball of the foot, keeping everything light. As you guys start to get exhausted with this, you can burn out with non-stop uppercuts. Oh, and see how he's using his hips and his body to do this. He's not just using it with the arms. Oh, let me see 10 more seconds. Nice. Very good. And let's move on to the next one. Now, if you're feeling a little tired before, this is gonna really burn us out. We're gonna be working on our long bag drills, all right? The combination for this month is going to be, number one, a jab into a roundhouse kick. Why don't you show me that, Kendrick? Good. And I want us really working on our leg wrap kicks today. See how Kendrick is keeping his right hand up like it's a root. So he's not letting his hand drop as he's throwing that kick. Good. The second one, we're going to find a little bit more distance. He's going to be throwing across into a pendulum inside leg kick. Let me see that a couple times, man. Nice. A little lower. Good. Right to the leg. Right over the knee. Perfect. Still keeping that front hand up. Nice. Next one, we're going to be working on a two combination. I want to see jab cross into a switch step. Nice. Show them a couple more times, Kevin. It looks great. Nice. Always bringing the hands back to the face. Nice. Third one now, we're going to be throwing a jab cross hook into a body roundhouse kick. Let me see that a couple times. Nice. Always turning on the ball of foot. Good. Nice. Now the last one that we're going to drill with this, I don't want you guys to hit with the first four punches. We're going to throw jab, cross, hook, cross. Take a big step with the right foot. Rotate into our head kick with the left leg. Watch you demonstrate that for us. Nice. Now this one, I want you guys to feel like you're swinging the baseball bat with it. This hand, the same side that's throwing the kick, angle it down so you get more power out of the hip. Show them a couple more times. Let's see what we got, Kendrick. Nice, two more times, let's get it. Nice, one more. Awesome, let's go to the next one. All right, Christian. Over here, we're gonna be working on our peekaboo techniques, okay? We're gonna be keeping our hands by our face the whole time, really thinking that we're close into the person, all right? Keeping our elbows dropped, protecting our ribs, hands up by the face. If you guys are having a hard time with this, I always like to remember to keep my hands by my cheeks with this, okay? Now, every time we throw a combo, let's say we throw one, two, three, I want you guys to think of at least two defensive techniques and positions afterwards. So we're not just gonna go one, two, three, and then stay there and get hit, right? We're gonna think from here, one, two, three, roll. Get out of the way, making sure that your angles are right. Let me see a couple times. Cool, and always going back to your defense. Nice. Good. Staying light on the balls of the feet. Not letting your feet drag too much. Good. Bringing the hands back to the face every time. Nice. Let me see a couple more seconds of that, Christian. Let's keep it going. See how he always brings his hands back to the face. Awesome. Let's move on to the next one. We only have two more, you guys. Keep up the great energy. This one I want for us to be working on our jabs. Now, not everyone has access to a really good rice bag like this, but if you guys want to get them, they're only like 20 bucks, so I would always recommend it. But if you don't have one like this, work it on a regular bag for me, all right? What we're gonna work with this is our three different levels of jabs. Most people, when they throw jabs, they're just thinking here, right? Turning the hips over and throwing it to the jaw. I want you guys to also think about our body jab, where instead of just throwing it like this, we're slipping down angling our body like someone's throwing a jab to the face and going forward. This foot should feel like it's touching a button and pushing off. So we have a regular jab, body jab. Show you again, regular jab, body jab. Now as you throw that high jab, we're gonna think we're slightly turning up. So our fist is no longer like this anymore. We're thinking more on an angle here, lifting our chest up as we throw that punch. So we think face, body, Angle up. Show you again. Face, body, angle up. All right, let's move on to the last one. See what we got, Preston. This one, I want you guys to just burn it out. We're gonna be doing double hooks on the same side. I want body, head. Let me see that a couple times. Good. See how he's not allowing that left hand to drop down. Good, let me see the other side now. Once again with this, I want you guys to think that everything comes from the body and the footwork. We're not just arm punches in here. We're pushing through it. Let's go. Come on, finish it up. This is your last station, so I want you to give this one everything you've got. Once you 
you feel like you only got about 30 seconds left, I want non-stop. Left, right, left, right. Bring the hands back up to the face every time. Turn into it. Good, we're almost done, you guys. I want to see what we got. Push through this. Let me see five, four, three, two, one. Break. All right, you guys, based off of your skill level and ability, I want you guys to be doing each of those stations for one to three minutes for each station with about a 15 to 30 second rest. As you guys get better and have better cardiovascular endurance, you guys can start to add more time to it. But I want you guys to always remember the most important part of this is your technique. We never want to get so crazy with the time or the amount of power that we throw into these that we forget about keeping everything aligned, all right? Remember, you guys, Power is never gonna be as important as your accuracy, and timing is always gonna be more important than your speed, okay? Technique is better than anything else. Good work to you guys. All right, everyone have fun today? Yes, sir! Everyone train hard? Yes, sir! Everyone learn something new? Yes, sir! Everyone clap?